Dead 11. This t-shirt that you see here got a girl suspended from school. That's what she says. She says she wore it before without any issues and it doesn't violate the dress code. Now the school has a problem with it and she's asking why. Seven on your side's Addie Hampton reports the young lady is taking a stand for the shirt and freedom of expression. You need to change your shirt or go home. That was the option Brianna Papoor says she was given last week at Chesney High School. The openly gay high school senior wore this t shirt to class, boldly printed, Nobody knows I'm a lesbian. I've worn the shirt before and nobody's ever said anything. Until now, that is. She said she was pulled out of class into the front office and told her shirt was disruptive. Brianna said that's news to her and there's nothing against displaying sexual orientation in the dress code handbook. When I said something to him about the handbook, he's like, well, not everything's in the handbook. He is a high-ranking administrator with Chesney High. This week, we reached out to him, the school, and the school district superintendent, hoping to get some questions answered. They didn't call us back, but the district sent us an email saying the shirt was, quote, offensive and distracting with links to the dress code policy. We pulled it up. It says, quote, clothing deemed distracting, revealing, overly suggestive, or otherwise disruptive will not be permitted. Just Brianna's mother, Barbara Papour, wants to know why her daughter's shirt is considered offensive and who makes that call. That's what she said. Says she asked that administrator. He does not like people in his school wearing anything that says anything about lesbians, gays, or bisexuals. But it wasn't a good enough answer, she says. There's other stuff that they're supposedly, you know, that could be against religion, against anything else, and but that wasn't listed in his comment. For Brianna, it's more than a shirt, it's an identity, one she says she and other gay teens shouldn't be afraid of. Isn't that what school's supposed to teach you, is to be happy with you, who you are? Is maybe people will be more comfortable with showing who they are because you should be able to wear what you want to wear. In Chesney, Addie Hampton, 7 on your side. Well, again, we've reached out several times to the school and the school district for comment and we'll